process business process called customer credit group so what is customer credit group to make you understand i have created two scenario so that we can relate and understand exactly what it is so as you there is a big company the tata group this is a very known and very big company around the world so this under this tata group there are many companies they have many branch or many many business unit tata has many business unit right so a organization deal with that it deal with tata group so for some reason or for obvious reason of course this company 1 under tata group of company 2 and company 3 they have created or we need to create those as a customer or we have created in in our system however the agreement between tata group and the organization is there will be no credit limit for individual customers under tata group rather that the credit limit will be basis on the group level okay so say suppose there is a credit limit of tata group which is 3 million but this tata group is not a individual customer rather it is a group of customers so there will be no credit limit in individual customers rather it system will understand okay at any point of time under this umbrella of tata group if it is more the credit you know goes more than 3 million then it will stop so this is called a customer credit group scenario however there can be another scenario under this customer credit group what is that assume tata group you know uh, having a individual credit limit however as per the agreement organization has come to the agreement that company 1 and company 2 and company 3 this individual customers will have individual credit limit which is 2 million each however the total tata group will have 3 million as a credit limit which means individual customer can avail the, the limit up to 2 million but as a tata group at any point of time the company will not allow the credit limit is credit limit more than 3 million so that is another scenario i hope you understand by this time that what is credit customer credit group how what are the business scenario it can be okay so let's see how this business process can be dealt in microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation let's see so now i am in microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation system and here we have credit and collection module the first thing we need to do is we need to go to credit and collection parameters under setup and then we need to go to credit and here we need to make sure this check customer credit group credit limit is enabled otherwise it won't work so we need to enable it to i mean for system to check the credit limit under the customer credit group level So I have enabled it, and also I have enabled check credit limit on sales order, sales order check credit limit on free text invoice. Okay, so this is the basic setup which is done. The main thing for credit limit group to work, we need to enable it. And after that, under credit and collection module itself, we need to select under customer. This is customer credit groups. Here we need to create a group. For our case, it will be Tata Group. and here also i can add his and i will add a credit limit under this group so for us it will be 30 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 sorry 3 million and then i will add the credit limit expiry, expiration date at which is maybe 30th of september and then i will click okay so now the group is created and the limit is added so what i will do i will add individual customers I have selected three customers, which is Tata, Tata Motors India. One, I will add more customers. Tata Motors Sri Lanka, and I will add another customer. Tata Motors Pakistan. 
so it's done i have created the group i have created i have added the credit limit under this group and i have added the customers if i uh, if i want to see the age balance under this customer i can click on age balance and i can see these are the balance but i don't think this is the correct balance so anyway uh, we will go and see individual customer level whether they have balance or not because we also have a scenario where we need to add it is not it is optional but we will see how it works it is we need to add the individual customer you know credit limit as well so we need to go to this customer let's see and if i click on customer and if i see balance i will see there is no balance for this customer as well let's see if there is any balance no balance and no credit limit and this 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 Tata Motors in Pakistan we will see whether they will have any balance or credit limit is not uh, so here also there is no credit limit so our first scenario was that that there will be customer group level credit limit but there will be no individual credit limit so this is one scenario by which this can be catered and we will see another scenario where we will have credit limit in individual customer level per customer it will be 2 million but as a credit limit in a group Tata group this will be 3 million so we will see end to end scenario and test you know then what we will do for individual customer credit limit we need to go to uh, credit limit adjustment and then we will click new click lines and then I will select our customers which is Tata Tata Motors I will add three customers here so that I will add amount in one go and Sri Lanka so I have added in individual customers and here I will have new credit limit which is 2 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 here also 2 million here also 2 million I will add say I will add tomorrow state as a exp expiration date and I will click on post so what I have done I have added credit limit in the group level as a Tata group and in the Tata, Tata group I have added customers and the customer level also we have individual credit limit so if I select Tata let's randomly check so here if I click on balance so it is 2 million per customers I have added this credit limit can also be seen from the credit the customer master and in the credit and collection where it is uh, credit and collections tab it is total credit 2 million so now i have added individual customers into the group the group limit credit limit is 3 million and individual customer will have 2 million each so it looks like for this customer group it has 2 million each means 3 into 2 6 million credit group credit limit as a group level but it is not in the group level we have organization have agreed that at any point of time the credit will not be more than 3 million so even if they have individual 2 million credit group however if the group level 3 million is over as a credit then it will stop system will not allow rather it will block the sales order so now maybe we can test it uh, what we can do we can consume you know in one customer as a 20 million and then we will try to see the again 20 million for next customer is working or not ideally our expectation it should not because we are seeing the customer credit group not individual so uh, you know system what it does it gives the first priority 
to the credit limit group and then the individual customer level credit limit if it stops in group level then it will not allow so let's see here we will create a sales order for around 20 million and if I consume 20 million then only 10 million will be left for another customer even if they have 20 sorry uh, if I consume 2 million and then uh, if I try to use another customer credit limit which is 22 million but it won't allow because the total group level credit limit is two million, uh, 3 million only okay so now I will maybe select this item and let's see it is say suppose quantity maybe uh, 900 maybe I will add 1000 is 19 lakhs can raise it to it crosses the 90,000 one zero zero maybe four zero yeah okay and then I will add this warehouse so my sales order Having value of total net amount is 19,76,197,000 uh, uh, okay so it is around 2 million and try to confirm it let's see ideally it should not stop us yeah it is not stopping and maybe what I will do I will just invoice this I will not go with the pick and pack because it will take some time I will post this okay now I have posted so I have consumed around 2 million and I will use uh, before that maybe I can show you the balance of this customer and credit limit yeah so credit limit was 2 million and only 24,000 is left for this customer so if I go to the next customer in next customer balance also I can see 2 million is still left so ideally you can think that okay uh, this customer will have 2 million more but ideally it's not because total group level is you know uh, 3 million but we have consumed in one customer around 2 million so what I can do I will select this customer and will create another sales order for the next customer and we will try to you know do the same thing what we have done with the previous customer with the amount so let's select site first okay. and here I can select maybe so it is nine one you know one hundred ninety thousand so it should allow I mean uh, you know if if we fo if it follows the individual credit limit then it should allow but if it follows the customer credit group which is our expectation it should not allow so let's see what it does We'll click on confirm now see we have got error and if I see this message then it is saying order has been sent to credit management order has been sent to credit management even though this customer had you know uh, credit limit till, till 2 million and the price was less than 2 million but also it has blocked this sales order the original reason is we have a customer credit group as a Tata group which is two mil uh, 3 million and we already had consumed uh, 2 million in one sales order or uh, till now which is due so that is the reason even if that customer having individual credit limit which is 2 million but it is still not allowing because of the customer credit group scenario or customer credit group setup 
so this is all the about the you know uh, customer credit group how this works what is the business scenario also just for a minute i want to share this with you that you know uh, if you want to change your customer credit group limit you still need to you can do that by going to credit limit adjustment and we can click new okay and here we'll go to lines and you know selecting customer it is not required we can select customer credit group which is startup group and it will automatically say uh, bring the credit limit which is current credit limit and I, we can add new credit limit maybe you know 4 million and I can give new expiration date and I can post it see if I post it it will be posted and if I go to customer credit groups form I can click on Tata group and I can see this credit limit is increased to 4 million okay so now if I try to post the second sales order it will allow and the reason is it is still under limit so this is what you know about the customer credit group limit scenario that's the end-to-end -end demo I wanted to share with you and I wanted to make you understand what is the business process all about about this customer credit group so I hope you have been able to understand this you can you know this is very common requirement in these dates days especially where they have a big company like Tata where they have under one umbrella there are multiple customers however the credit limit will be in the group level so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching bye for now